Hey there, Breakfast Club. Welcome back to Breakfast to Tracy's. And we are continuing this week looking at the prophecies of Christmas. And I hope this has been as rich and as meaningful to you as it's been to me to dig into these prophecies and look at what God actually promised to you and I as we prepare for Christmas. Um, today we're looking at Empowered Like No Other. And this is another prophecy from the book of Isaiah. And it says this, out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot. Yes, a new branch bearing fruit from the old root. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. You know, I am fascinated about how the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Spirit, which is what Christians believe God is, three persons, Father, Son, and Spirit, how the Trinity all works as one, even though they're three persons. They are the model community. It's no wonder that human beings crave connection because our Creator is connection. Father, Son, and Spirit have existed always, forever. And Jesus spoke eloquently about his own words in his life coming from the Father, and he got direction from the Father. But he also was empowered by the Spirit. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, got stuff done. And in this prophecy, it mentions the Holy Spirit four times that the Spirit was going to be on the Messiah. And it's no wonder that when Peter uh, addressed uh, people in the, the book of Acts in chapter 10, he said, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he said, then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. Notice how he equates being filled with the Holy Spirit and God being with you. But it wasn't Jesus didn't perform these miracles on his own. The Holy Spirit empowered him to perform these miracles. In fact, we find in Philippians that in order to become human, he emptied himself of the privileges of being God. And here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. Jesus modeled dependence. He modeled dependence on the Father and the Spirit. He relied on the Spirit to do all of these miracles just like us. He needed the Holy Spirit to perform miracles, and so do we. Nothing of eternal value gets done in human strength. Nothing. Jesus modeled dependence on the Spirit. So let me ask you this. What are you trying to do right now that only God could do? What are you trying to attempt right now? Are you trying to be a, a good person? You're trying to be a good mother, a good dad, a good friend, a good coworker, a good neighbor? You're trying to do all these things, working so hard, and yet you can't do them. You need the Holy Spirit's empowerment just like Jesus did. Jesus did what he did because the Holy Spirit empowered him to do it. This is the model that we are to follow. We are to follow Jesus. We need God's Holy Spirit to fill us to do the kinds of supernatural things that Jesus did. So stop resisting the Holy Spirit. And I'm talking to myself too. And start cooperating with the Holy Spirit. And depending on the Holy Spirit helps you to stay positive and hopeful and actually helpful. You know... If you've ever raised kids, you know they start off as so dependent. They need everything. And then they learn to talk. <laughs> and one of the things that they'll probably say somewhere along the lines is by self. They want to do it by self. And the thing is that some of us never stop saying that. But to have a relationship with God means an interdependence with him. We need to depend on him. Uh, he doesn't depend on us. We depend on him. We need him. So we can't keep saying by self, by myself. I want to do this by myself. We need him. We need his power. We need his strength. We can't do this life on our own. So let's follow the model 
of Jesus who was empowered by the Spirit to do all the things that he did. Let's pray. Lord, we are reminded, uh, Jesus, how you were filled with the Spirit. And being filled with the Spirit allowed you to do supernatural things for that changed all of eternity. God, help us. Help all the people who are listening to this. Be filled with your Spirit. May we stop resisting your Spirit and allow your Spirit to come and take charge of us, to direct us and strengthen us to do the things that are just not natural for us to do. We need your help, Holy Spirit. May we follow, follow in the footsteps of Jesus by being filled with the Spirit. We ask it in his name. Amen. God bless you and enjoy your day.